Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the steps to fix the CrowdStrike driver update issue that results in blue screen of death on Windows 11 and Windows 10 computers. The server security company CrowdStrike recently made available an update for its Falcon sensor driver that has affected many Windows systems around the planet with a blue screen of death that has caused banks, airlines, emergency systems and many other companies to disrupt their businesses. At the time of the incident, the company has been investigating the issue and it has already created an update to fix the problem. However, if you're still experiencing this issue, CrowdStrike has also provided a workaround that anyone can use on affected computers. And that's what we're going to be looking at on this video. Okay, let's dive into the steps. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel putting my work. If your computer is experiencing the blue screen of death due to the driver update from CrowdStrike, then the first step is to restart the computer to give the device a chance to grab the fix. And if after that you're still getting the same error, continue with following steps. First, you need to make sure that you close any running applications and save all the work if that is applicable. Then press and hold the power button of the computer. Then press the power button one more time to start the computer. And as soon as you see the Windows logo, press and hold the power button one more time until the computer shuts off automatically. Then one more time, turn on the computer. And after the second or third time, you're going to see that the computer will start into the automatic startup process. And that will open the Windows recovery environment, also known as the advanced startup. After the computer boots into the automatic repair experience, just click the advanced options button. Then click on troubleshoot. Then click on advanced options. Then click on startup settings and then click the restart button. On this page, press F5 or the number five on the keyboard to start the computer in safe mode, in this case with networking. Now you need to sign in into your account. Out of the save mode experience, open start and look for command prompt. Right click on it and select the run as administrator option. Now we need to open the proud strike folder inside of the drivers folder on Windows. And to do that, we need to use the CD space C Windows system 32 drivers proud strike command and then press enter. In here, we need to delete some specific files. And for that, we're going to type DEL, which is the delete command space. Then we're going to issue the name of the files that we want to delete. In this case, C-10000. It's a total of five zeros. Then 291. And then we're going to use an asterisk to match all the files that start with this name. And then we're going to end up with the dot S Y S extension and then press enter. After deleting the files, you just need to restart the computer and that should fix the CrowdStrike blue screen of death on your computer running Windows. That could be either Windows 11 or Windows 10. The only versions that are not affected by this issue are Windows 7 and 2008 R2. Restarting the computer, the system should boot into the regular mode and moving forward you shouldn't have any issues using your computer because of the blue screen of death that happened because of this buggy update from proud strike let me know in the comments what you think about this problem knowing that this time around it wasn't microsoft fault but it puts a big question mark on companies on how they are testing their updates before they ship to devices because it seems that a simple lab test or testing a new update with a small group of customers would have prevented this massive outage, which is perhaps the biggest we have seen yet. Also, it is crazy how a single piece of code can impact the entire world. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.